Hey guys, as you know, I've made two previous videos on this uh, Easy Bake Micro Drones series. It has to do a lot with these uh, 4-in-1 ECs and flight controller combos. And in those two videos, I showed some examples of uh, the combos that are already out and they come pre-assembled. And there's also the uh, Ishii Mini Cube that also comes in two pieces and you have to kind of put it together yourself. However, I did want to point out in this video that you don't have to necessarily get those if um, you don't want to. If you want to customize your stacks, uh, there's ways to do that. And I'm just going to show you uh, an example here of uh, this 4 in 1 EC and this flight controller combo and some of the reasons why you want to go with something customized. Um, first of all, in order, to for, in order for this to work, uh, you want to get the flight controller and EC combo that has these uh, six pin connectors on them. And so this uh, Racer 6 amp EC has a six pin connector and it's got this other corresponding connector that will then just plug right into the flight controller like so. And that's just like all of the um, Freebie ones that uh, I mentioned from Gearbest, the F3 and the F4, they basically just plug and play like this. The other ones like the XJB, this, um, those are direct connections from the flight controller straight to the uh, pins on the um, 4-in-1 EC, so that's a little bit different. Uh, and also for tighter builds, these wires and kind of in the way might be an issue. But there's also a way around that as well. You could also just plug in this cable here into the flight controller and then uh, remove this connector here and directly solder the wires to the uh, uh, 4-in-1 ESC. That's another, that's another route you could also go. I may do that for the build I'm considering putting these two in. It's the uh, Rotorious FPV LB97. It's a very uh, low stack build, I guess it's, uh, what do you call it, slammed, where the top plate's very close to the bottom plate, so these uh, these two components can have to be very, very close together. And the other reason I'm considering putting this in that is this flight controller has a built-in receiver, so there's not a third stack or a third board on top of there that gets in the way. So um, for those type of builds where it's very low profile, something like these two would be a pretty good combo. And I forgot what this is called. Um, it's an F3 flight controller. Uh, I think it comes in different versions. DSM, Free Sky, and Fly Sky. And this is the Fly Sky version. This has the uh, AFHDS2A protocol receiver in there and does IBUS. So it does work with the Turnigy Evolution. So for those really tight builds where you don't want to have more wires and stuff going to another receiver or, uh, or like a, even, even one of those little small micro receivers, this is a, not a bad option because the flight controller and the receiver are all built into one board. And actually this is a, this is an F4 board. I, I, I misspoke. This, I thought it was an F3. This is actually an F4 with an iBus FlySky receiver on board and a 5 volt BEC. Uh, Kind of one of the, the nice things about that is that it's a lower weight and you have all the components in one board, but this one doesn't have an OSD and uh, you kind of lose the advantages of having an F4 chip here because you don't have a lot of the uh, UART outputs that you normally would have on an F4 board. You just have the buzzer and I think over here you have um, outputs for your LED and then you got your VBAT and that's pretty much it because the receiver is built in, that's taking up one of the UARTs and then you don't have any um, pinouts for any of the other UARTs because the, the 20 by 20 size is a small board and the F4 chip takes up a lot of the space on the board. So that's something to consider, but for a really small and tight builds like this two inch build I'm gonna put this in, it's okay, I'm willing to compromise in that situation. Uh, I normally I would prefer an OSD, but in that case I'll probably uh, forego that because I wanna uh, build it, put this into a very tight build. So I want to show you another example of another flight controller. This is the F4 Plus OSD board. Uh, this is actually the same board that's in the Furry BF4. Uh, I think I put that one. I think I put that one in the LD120 build, and that was already pre-built and it came with a 20 amp ESC. Um, and of course, you know you don't have to use a 6 amp ESC with this. The Racer sure comes out. I think they have a 12 amp and also a 20 amp as well. But you know, this connector just plugs right in and uh, you can then build your stack that way. And it would just pretty much be identical to uh, the Furry Bee all-in-ones. So this kind of, uh, just want to give you these sort of ideas. There's a lot of boards out there um, that have these connectors on them. And uh, they can be used uh, in with these uh, 4-in-1 ECs to build your own 
power cubes. So I think the disadvantage of having the connector on here like this is a lot of these boards, they, they don't have PDBs. So some of the uh, 20 by 20 flight controllers, they'll have PDBs uh, built in so you can uh, have separate ESCs, like uh, four separate ESCs and have them each individually wired to those, like sort of like the Pico BLX. In that case, you're not going to be using a 401 ESC anyway, so that uh, kind of, you know, kind of defeats the purpose of kind of going that route. So, um, not, not having the connector is actually probably a disadvantage in that case. Anyway, I just want to let you know that there are options out there for combining your own custom flight controller plus ESC combos. Uh, you don't have to necessarily go with the list of the, the ones I showed in the previous two videos. Obviously, there's more coming out. Uh, but if you have special needs, uh, you can then find your own 4 one ESC and your own flight controller and put them together in this manner and basically, um, you know, produce the same effect. Anyway, I hope you found this video helpful. Let me know if you have any questions and I'll talk to you guys in the next video.